Hello and welcome to The Rooftop TV episode 12. I'm Simon Francis and I'm editor of The Rooftop. We're the home of good news worth shouting about. Now this week we've actually had some good news of our own and Tom York, who's usually the uh, the host of Rooftop TV, has had some good news in that he's been finally able to reunite with his husband after three months apart. Um, at the start of lockdown, Tom was over in the UK visiting his family uh, and, and his husband Albie was uh, back in uh, Palermo where they live um, working. and um, They've been apart for the whole of the lockdown period, but they finally managed to um, be reunited and they're, they're currently both uh, in quarantine in uh, in Italy um, before they move back home. And, um, you know, really congratulations, I suppose, to, to Tom and Albie. And uh, I know it's been a hard few months for, for you both. And so we're all really pleased that you're back together. And it's nice to see that some levels of normality are returning to people like like Tom, like Albie, you know, right around right around the world. But there's also other good news that's been uh, happening this week that we've been reporting on for The Rooftop. Um, first of all, I wanted to share a story about um, a homeless um, veteran, um, Anton Newcomb, who's a resident at um, uh, a, play- a house, Mike Jackson House in, in Aldershot. Um, he's currently looking to try and get back into the, the army, into the Royal Logistics Corps, but obviously intake and training has all been suspended at the, at the moment. So um, he's been using his time to, um, to, to, to re-enlist, if you like, um, but in in a different front line, and he's um, um, been supporting the local hospital as a as a porter uh, in in the ICU unit. So having to wear full PPE, and I think you know, obviously, rightly, we focused a lot on uh, on nurses and and on um, care workers and other frontline staff. But obviously, they all need the support of of people like like Anton and other porters and, and hospital workers who uh, clinical clerical workers who perhaps we we just don't hear about so much. So so. Um, well done to Anton, well done to all of the other um, porters out there in the NHS who've been doing such a great job over the last few months. And I think, you know, another story we covered this week was um, about actually how we need to be thinking about we support the mental health of um, uh, the frontline workers a, a lot more than, than we have been doing. And one one charity um, down in uh, Winchester in Hampshire has got a, a really innovative way of, of hopefully giving um, something back to those frontline staff. They're crowdfunding at the moment for um, the ability to be able to provide respite um, for 100 um, nurses and frontline key workers. And they do that in quite a unique way. They actually do that um, through help giving them a break with horses. And um, I think they've, they've got evidence that shows that if you spend time with with these wonderful animals, it actually helps improve your mental and emotional health. So, um, you know, a great uh, fundraiser that's that's going on there. Um, and they're obviously still looking for support. So they, the more that they raise, the more support they can give to the, um, the frontline staff and the more of these respite breaks that they can give. So three uh, really great stories this week and uh, hopefully Tom will be back in the hot seat again uh, next week. Um, But um, for me, obviously, we're always on the lookout for more um, good news worth shouting about. Um, If you've got a story for us, please email it to editor at therooftop.news. That's editor at therooftop.news. We can't publish everything that we get sent, but we do read all your emails and we love reading about the positive news um, that's happening out there. So um, that's all from me. We'll be back next week. Thank you.